recording all right so uh sarani right money yep sarani sarani uh shu byokan shu byokan iki mimi o Tatete Ichitara Itara Chika Okara Chikara Agara Sagara Uh this is Kara Sagara Kaida This is Kara, kara. Chita Kara Kaidan O no Ote Kuru Ashioto ga chita. Mimi ni tete itara. Sarani. After a few seconds, I heard. I. I I listen up or I listen in. Right. And when I do that, Tara, and when I when I started to listen from below the stair. There is a footstep coming. Uh, from from the stairway, from below the stairway. Hi. Uh, is a verb that means um, step. Cool. Basically, yeah, to climb up. Noboru. Um, do you remember how to read several several seconds for me? Su yo. And then, um, um, this is or orewa iki o tomete kaidan o iki ni nagake no. Ake no, ake no boruto, itana, shodana, no, yo, si, yo, si, tobira, gashi, kakushi, kakushi, Obira kara sato ni datta. Detta. Okay. So our first clause is ore wa iki o tomete. Right there with te showing the end of a clause. I stop my breath. Hi. And kaida no iki ni kake noboru. I rush up. Hi. I rush. Um. Since is nobo, it means to go up, right? Nobo noboru is to climb up. up. Yep, you just saw it right so over rushed... here. In the last I... line you read. So I. I climb I in one in one movement in one iki right iki in one swift motion I go up the the stair. I climb the stair. Right. Um Shodana no Kakushi 
โอปิราคาราปัตโตนีเดต้า I emerges uh, I went out I went outside through or from the hidden door of the bookshelf perfect and by outside is he outside or outside or is he in the house He's outside of the hidden door, so he's in the room so, so. where he first came in. Right. So he went back up. He ran back up real quick um, because he heard a footstep. Right. And cue, cue, cue there. You know this kanji. Oh, wow. You just uh, I, yeah, I moved the line holding. I um, yeah. เฮยาเฮยาโอสุกิริมุตโนคุไรเฮยาเอโอบิโคมุสุกิริ is uh, he crosses the room ใช่มุตโนคุไรเฮยาเอโอบิโคมุ Flies towards the room that is dark. Hi. How dark is it? Yeah. Uh, the original. Sorry, right. It's the original dark room. Um. Do you know why there's a komu right here? Tobi komu. Komu describe the motion of something going in. So he flies in. Right. Hi. So he enters the room. Perfect. He dashes. He doesn't Hi. fly. I mean, he. He dashes He's across. running, so it's just like in English with fly as a metaphor, hi, for speedy movement. Right. We went back up into the room that was the dark room that was before hi. when we first came in. And Q de doa o, and quickly he, she met, she met is um close, like she meru, so he closes the door. Um, Kari, Kari, Kane. Close. Then, You're right. First, it was Kari. Then it's Kane. Kari Kane. Then, Mata. So, no, Kagi, Kagi o. Kaketa. Hey, before you do this, lock the door. So, yes, he did. Um. We saw the word this kanji right here, and you said q like q na. However, when it ends with ide, it's not q ide. You have to have a second guess to how to read this kanji. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, iso ide. So iso. Oh, iso ide. Does it also mean quickly? Wanna... Yes. Kuna probably doesn't mean quickly because the word quickly, let's look at the word quickly in English. What do you think Lee marks in English? It marks that quick is an adverb that describes so, so. another. So Q could mean quick, but it can't mean quickly because Kuna is an adjective, quickly is an ad. Quick is a noun, which Quick na. <laughs> a lot of times Q is used to refer to steepness, though. But it could mean quick. Uh, but it just it can't mean quickly because it's not an adverb. Mm, like it could be a quick attack, like a Pikachu. Mm. Quick attack. Attack yeah. is a noun. Hi. Or a quick uh yeah, a quick car or a quick horse. But not the act of doing it, things quickly. Right. So here it, it is. It tends to be used that. to refer to quick, like a sudden thing emerging, like suddenly something like fell or something, <laughs> or abrupt. So like, I'm not sure how that would be in a sentence. I guess you'd use de in that case. To de, uh, still be an adverb. But yeah, it can mean fast and quick, like a horse, like you said. So yeah, perfect. Right. So he quickly 
closes the door and using the lock pick, he once again closes the lock or right. lock. He engage he he cocked it he cocked right. it he, he engages the the lock. Hi, right. that's a it. good way to directly translate that. I should hold that in my brain if I have to tell someone what that means. Engages the lock. Hi. Right. Um. Here, say higure no kimi no um yashiki yashiki is a, is an office. Mm. Uh, no. Oh no no Yashiki is is a mansion. Right. Uh, um. No chi chi uh chi sita like this is the word for like underground railway. Hi. Like the subway. Anything chi underground. Ka, chika. Um chika de. Like I think it's called Chika Den Densha, which is the subway. Probably um, Chika Densha. That makes Chika sense because Densha is train. So an uh, underground train is the uh, subway. De nani ka ga okite iru. So he say that at the uh, basement of the mansions, um, the Lord of Twilight mansions. Something Nanikaga had awakened. Something occurred. Hi, something Okite is going is on in there. Occur. Hi, hi, hi. Or hi, iru. It's happening. Hi, hi. Um, saku yoba, saku yoba. This is right. like Your a first workplace, was right? Saku, right? Saku yoba, hi. Workplace. Saku yoba, like a factory of a sort, like a um, not a factory, but um. Yeah. A workshop, okay. Um, no yo ni mieta ga. Uh, I've saw a a place that is like a workshop. Uh, moshi kashi ta tara zo 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 mo sukanai yo na koto o chitte iru no ka no kamo. It end with kamo, meaning perhaps. Um, and starts with a perhaps as well, with moshikashitara. 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 Um, um, moshikashitara sozo mo. Suikanai yonakoto. So if a thing iteiru no ka iteiru iteiru is um ite is from suru so iteiru no ka something is I'm doing doing perhaps iteiru no kamo perhaps they are doing something something that is like a suna so... sukanai. Pause. So it's uh ore ore wa sozo mo tsukunai yo na koto, and it's kare shiteru. You know what a sozo is? Imagination. So so. How about the tsukunai? What do you think this verb used to be? You have two possibilities. Tsuk it could be tsukaru, or tsuku. What do you think it is? This is the negative form, so I'm guessing sukaru because if if it is suku, then it has to be the negative of suku would have to be suka nai. So tsukaru and suku are both. Oh no, Bo both of these are real verbs. Um, I think this might not be the U verb. Uh, it's not an U verb. Um, but uh, tsuku, if you're doing negative form, you add a nai, right? So that's how you get to ka nai. That's possibility A. The other possibility would be a do verb. 
Verbs that end with do, what you do is you drop the do and add nai. So grammatically, it could be tukaru or tuku. Tukaru is a word you've never seen. And in reality, tukaru is a u verb. It's not even a, you can't even do it in the first place. It doesn't exist. The, the A ru verb of tukaru oh. doesn't actually exist. But this is a grammatical thing you can make from that. Uh, and then they might have been like, oh, no, it means submerge. Which uh, I cannot submerge imagination versus I cannot attach imagination. Touching kind of makes sense. You can kind of see the idea what they're going on here with this. It's true we don't actually say this in English, though. Um, the idea is that it's something that you could imagine. So, sozo ga dekiru and sozo ga tsuku are basically the same idea, with the idea of you being able to attach your imagination to some kind of concept. So he's really just saying, I can't imagine here. Um, here, here it starts with moshika, moshika shitara. So I did tell you what moshika shitara in, meant. That was the same as kamo. What? Well, but usually I see they just say moshi. Why do they yes. have this kashitara? It's more dramatic. On top of the moshi. Is that a verb, Mani? Kashitara? Isn't that a verb? I suppose. Of kashiru? Uh, well, it'll be... Because tara is like if, right? Tara is the, the suffix. Yes, that means it is. When, when an action occurred and is attached to, it's attached to kashiru, kasuru. So it is a verb, you're correct. Moshikasuruto is another thing you'll hear. You just don't hear the verb moshikasu on its own. It's always going to be, you know, going to be having the perhaps meaning of it because it means perhaps. So moshika is the actual, I guess it's moshi, right? Mosh, mosh is like a slurring from moshika, which means perhaps or if. And then you're going to be just adding things to that. The meaning does not change, right? You're just making the word longer. So all he did right. was say, it's like saying, what's the difference between kamo shirenai and kamo? One shorter than the other. <laughs> the the right. meaning's not actually different. They both mean perhaps. Um, this just adds um, more dramaticness, I guess to the sozo tukunai part of the sentence versus having the them doing it. But in I, general, you, the sentence could be moshi. It still would be grammatically different, correct and wouldn't even change the meaning. Moshi. Uh, but um, yeah. moshkara, like, I guess, also feels like... more questioning. It's more like um, prop, like I wonder, almost. So like I Moshi see. is like maybe this is what's going on. It's what like my, Moshi feels like. Well, Moshka shitara, ah, oh, It feels kind of like Kashira, you know, like the female. I wonder. <laughs> it has like a little bit of like Kashira, that kind of like feeling oh. in there. I wonder. I wonder if this is what's going on. You know, what this unimaginable thing is going on. Hi, hi, hi. I wonder if it's something I couldn't so, so, even more. imagine. Mm -hmm. Something going on that is unimaginable for me. Right. That's how horrible. Hi. So even though looking at it, it does look like it's just a workplace, but they might be doing something so horrible, I couldn't even imagine it. That's probably how we'd... Uh... Hi. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. あの、真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真っ白な紙の真
the magician, the white hair magician, the 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 um, grizzly, and it's not grizzly white, but it's it truly just says white hair. Really hi, hi, is hi. white hair. Hi, um, and the uh, that that white hair magician, along with the Lord of Twilight, they definitely planning something. Um, that die without a doubt. Um, soregana, soregana nanoka, sukito mete yaru. Sukito mete, um, tomete. Hi. Suki is to take a stab at something. Hi, and make it stop. And then tomeru, to stop. So determine. Yaru yep. is to do for someone else. Basically. So they are determining they nanga 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 nan nanoka nan nanoka something or another. That is a hard word to say. Nan nanoka. Nan nanoka. So part of the nan issue is that, that we have the no here. So no needs a na. So then we have nan the nanoka. Uh is basically what's grand grand is going. Can you say like sorega nanika would be the other way you could say it? If you want to sound more robotic, this would be nanika. But this right here is has some slurring with nan versus nani. Um, nani nanoka people don't say, but so they want to add the no. Nani nano. Nan nano. Yeah. Mm. So basically, this is here because they want to add the no here, which um. Is the reasoning is how I described it. So, shows that the brain is working. But grammatically, you could say, Sore ga nan, nanika. Nanika or whatever. It's just saying what exactly it is. Nan. Uh, I guess they want to do that. If you say nanika, that sounds like something. Right? But it's not saying something here. It's, I guess you say, na. I guess you can't really say nanika as a as an embedded question. Nani o, I guess. Nan, nan Let's just say nani o, maybe. Nan, nan. Nani o tukitomeru. I just like to say like how we could like have this in a different grammatical way, but what have we? We have a uh, we have a um, what's it called? A retor uh, an inside question. Like we see ka, then we have like wakaru, right? To understand something. You know, ka wakaru is what's going on here. But you can't have nani right here because nani ka sounds like the word something. And that's not what's going on here. We have what plus question word marker ka for embedded questions. So the no is kind of needed in here for this to be readable. All right. So he's asking himself what is going on? What right. what are they doing? Yep. Sore ga. Right? He's saying yep. that. Yep. Sorega nani. What is it? Yes. What is that? Exactly. He's asking himself, what is that that they're doing? Right. Uh, and then he, he said, comma, tsuki tomita yaru. That they determine what, what have they planned and what they have they decided to do? Yes. Right. So because before he was talking about exactly they're making they some plan. Right. Oh, I want to determine tsuki tomita yaru. I wanted to know what they're doing. And then he say, demo i ma wa. Demo, demo i ma wa. Shomen genkan ni modora nai to. <clears throat> he say, modora nai to is that I must return to the entrance uh, hallway, the genkan of Hi. the front. When should he do that? Demo i ma wa. Demo imawa, that means that, however, right now, in that he's saying that I, I will determine what it is that these bad guys are, are planning. However, right now, I must return to the Genkan first. Right. So I'll determine that That's on a later date. Now. I'll put it in my calendar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Then he say, dare ni mo uh, mirare nai yo ni ki o tsuke nagara. Nagara is while. Hi. Why? Okay, so sugi sugi to uh, tsuzuka ka. Is it tsuzuka? No, this is not tsuzuka. This is the kanji for tizu, tizu ka. Tizu ka ni doa o dori nukete do ka ro ka ni modori genkan horu ni hiki uh, Hiki, hiki kanshita. No, this returning character meaning. Kae, uh, kae shita. Hiki, hiki kae, kae shita. Okay. So this guy That's right here, together. you gave the first one um, rendaku as if we were talking about like a street name. Like um, tsuke, tsuke tachi dori, for example. But that's not how this would be pronounced. Hai. Just so you know, nothing in the first position is ever going to get rendaku. Rendaku always shows up in the second position as a marker that we have a compound word. Hi. So here the correct reading is tori nukete. Hi. And by second position, I mean the second word made to make a compound word. In case you were thinking I meant second position as in the second character. Uh, so, nukeru could get voicing if this was a voiceless consonant. It would have like a 70% chance. Like if it was like a ka, it would probably turn into ga type of thing. Um, anyway, this is just, just a long sentence. <laughs> Hi, so, ore wa kiyo tsuke nagara. Sorry, first paragraph. Kiyo tsuke. Uh, nagara. What do you think it's saying? Kyo tsukete. Kyo tsuke nagara. While I what while I am um paying attention. Hi. In what kind of way is he I'm paying attention? Why I'm paying. Yo ni um dare mo. Dare mo, dare, dare ni mo mirare nai yo ni. Hai. So if, we have nai and mo. Hai. Mo nai. As if no one is looking? Basically, as if no one can see. So let's go. Mirare nai. Hai. Um, so miru is to see. What are ways we can conjugate miru? See, I think the big three are passive, potential, and causative form. Why don't you do all three for me real quick? For miru? Okay, so miru is the base form. Okay. Passive is mirareru from aru. Um, then potential form is I am unfortunately is also rareru, right? Mirareru yeah. as well. You're correct. <laughs> then the causative form is sareru, uh, ra, um, aseru, right. aseru. So it's you're right. Mi, mi sa. You're right. Mi sa, sa, sareru. Sareru. Right. So right here we have mirare nai. This could be it's not possible to see me by anybody, or it could be I am not seen by anybody. With the particle ni here, we can probably assume it's passive form. This is the doer of the verb. The person seeing me is not seeing me. The person that is not seeing me. So no one sees me, right? Dare dare ni mo mirare nai. Yoni is theoretically it is um as if, but in this context, translating it into English in order to tends to work better. 
So in other words, while being careful in order to not be seen by anyone, I do the next um, clause, which is So he tori nukete, he, he tori is to, to go through the road, right? To traverse. Hai. Nukeru. Nukeru is to escape, right? It, it, that is into, a way you could think about it. Out of. Hi. It is to basically exit out of, to go through. So we got go through, go through, and twice. Um, the difference is Hi. that tori feels like we're talking about, especially in this context with tugi tugi, tori means like the way you're going almost makes like a road. You're kind of going in a straight line is what the tori nukete kind of feels like. Whereas it just nukeru, uh, it just says you're exiting out or something. So he's in the house and he wants to get out of the house basically but specifically he's saying he's getting going through doa um and then we have so chigi chigi and shizuka hi so shizuka is quiet hi what is li. quiet hi marked by knee correct so the action Mark mark by ni here, so Shizuka ni quietly, and then chigi chigi is um like sneaky, right? That's chigi a good guess. Sneaky. Tsugi tsugi. If you saw tsugi on its own, does that sound vaguely familiar to you? Tsugi. Oh, it's next. The kanji yes, for next. It is next. So tsugi tsugi. Oh. Is also next. So this is used to mean one by one. Because I told you tori feels like a path. So it's basically it's being used because he's going through multiple doors. So that's why it's tori nukete rather than just nukete. So in this case, doa is actually doors. So I, I quietly mm. go through a bunch of doors one by one. I see. So here we have the case of numbers being expressed by the sugi sugi. Hey. Um. Roka ni modori. I've returned back to the hallway after I've gone through all that doors. Then Genkan Horu ni the reception of the hallway. Iki kaeshita. I went back to the hallway reception. Yep. Reception um, hall. And it's using hiki that specifically mean to retrace one's steps. So just saying uh which they really could have just did Modori a second time, but I think they were like, I just used Modori. Gotta grab a new vocab word. But, um, and this is where we're going to stop for our halfway point. So I'll see you real soon.